brought to you by the new Norelco Speed Shaver 30 for close electric shaves. And now let's all play What's My Line? From New York, let's meet our What's My Line panel. First, the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. Thank you. And now a gentleman who has arrived at such distinction that he's going to have a full spread in Look Magazine this very month, coming up. And apart from that, he has a most successful album called Do the Mouse. Soupy Sales. And uh, now I'd like to introduce a young lady who is the salt of the earth. I know I saw her dancing the other night, and she's quite a shaker. Dorothy Gilgal. <laughs> And on my left, my favorite Watusi partner, Mr. Bennett Sturck. <laughs> and if you notice John Charles Daly casting in a particularly appraising eye at our two beauties, Arlene and Dorothy, tonight, he's warming up for the Miss USA pageant, which he's going to do for CBS next Friday night from 10 to 11.30 from Miami, Florida. Here he is, Soupy Daly. <laughs> it is true, and I must say that uh, Miss Arlene will miss you this year. I shall miss Miami. them. Sally Ann Howes is going to be with us, and we're looking forward to the kind, same kind of pleasant weeks you and I always have yes. on those things. I'll be jealous. Mr. Sales, it's nice to see you on the panel. You were a guest very recently, so you know how the game is played. You know there's nothing to worry about in the next half hour. I'm in good company. You're in very good company, is right. We'll have some very interesting guests to present to you. We'll also have a famous mystery guest before my friends on the panel a little bit later in the program, and we'll meet our first challenger after this word. And now to meet our first challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? <laughs> Beverly Sites. Right, ma'am? Is it Miss or Mrs. Sites? Mrs. Mrs. Sites. And where are you from, ma'am? Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. It's very nice to have you with us. Mrs. Seitz, may I present the panel? And now would you join me over here, please? And we will let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. Oh. Hang on, the express is coming through. Well, panel, we can tell you that Mrs. Seitz is salaried, deals in a service, but I must admit that there is a product which has a very substantial and basic relationship to the service. And with all of that information, you have nothing to do now but to guess what the line is. And so we'll begin with uh, Bennett Cerf. Well, I must say, you're a guest who is a Seitz for sore eyes, Mrs. Seitz. <laughs> <laughs> Louisville, famous for both horses and distilleries. Uh, are your products in any way connected with either of those fields? No. One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Mrs. Seitz, if we were to get onto the track of the product, would that help us with the service that you do? Yes. Is the product one that those of us not on the panel might know about or have contact with at any time? Yes. Is it a product that we might ever find outside of the home? Yes. Is it a product that is now or ever has been alive? Yes. At the time of your service, is the product alive? Yes. 
is the is it animal rather than or I should say is it a four-legged animal no two down at eight to go mr. sales miss sites um, in this uh, job uh, in this service that you uh, render do you wear a costume I mean or a uniform yes is it uh, do you wear a um, gloves yes do you deal with, uh, I was going to say, a two-legged animal? That's ridiculous. You know uh, it isn't. A man is a two-legged animal. Well, that's animal. right. That's right. <laughs> uh, that's, yeah. Uh, will uh, some of these, uh, I mean, the, the things that you deal with, sometimes are they enclosed? Are they what? I mean, are they, uh, when I say enclosed, are they behind... Uh, Cages, or they're in a cage, or yes. Oh my God. Yeah. No, that's no, that's four legs. Four legs. no conference has been called for. No, let's get to it. Like a tiger. Um, that's a tiger that's met with an accident. In Detroit, Detroit. <laughs> been in a tank. <laughs> is this is this animal? Uh, can it uh, do something besides walk? Yes. Who could, would this animal uh, fly? No. No, <laughs> three down and seven to go, Miss no. Kilgallen. <laughs> uh, is this animal in the simian family? No. Four down and six to go, Mr. Does Sir. Does this animal sometimes exist in the water? Mm, yes. Uh, is it a dangerous animal? Yes. Would it be in the alligator family? No. Five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Does this animal squirm? I guess you could describe it as a squirm. I wouldn't you? say so. <laughs> well, I'm not well, much of a squirmer myself, but... Um, oh, yes, you are. Is it a long animal? Yes. Is it in the snake family? Yes. You do something with snakes? Yes. Well, to look at you, you certainly ought to charm them. I don't know if that's your line. Uh, or is it? Oh. Are you something other than a snake charmer? Yes. Do you extract venom from snakes? Yes. Do you show snakes? No, I'm going to actually, I think that you've oh. done very well, Doris. Did you do a dance with a snake? No, yeah. actually. Snake oil. Does she have snake oil? No, no Mrs. there's something healthy about it. Mrs. Mrs. Sykes is with the University of Louisville Medical School, and she keeps the poisonous snakes, notably coral snakes, with which a research team is working to develop an anti serum because they're highly oh. poisonous. <laughs> It's a project that uh, the Public Health Service is um, supporting, it, right? The thing that's very interesting about it is that Mrs. Seitz actually came to this purely by accident. She was uh, working with a doctor as, as an office assistant. Dr. Gennaro. Yeah, Dr. Gennaro. And he used to hand her the snakes when they came in, and she got along with the snakes so well, or I guess she liked the snakes so well, that she took it up as an occupation, keeping coral snakes. How many do you have? About 249. About how many? 249. Wow. Can you tell one from the other? <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> but she ha you have worked, uh, I think, made a big contribution to learning how to, to uh, keep them alive in captivity, haven't you? Yes, we hope so. You know? It's a wonderful, exciting oh. job. What sort of a uniform do you wear, Mrs. Sykes? Laboratory Cover. coat. Laboratory coat. Oh. You know, Don't you wear was... boots? No. Mm -mm. I did. One time when I went in to see some snakes. <laughs> Maybe they weren't de-venomized. What oh. night? What night club was that, Arlie? <laughs> do, do you ever get? It was a snake <laughs> discotheque. <laughs> do you ever get confused when you see a piece of rope? No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. One of those stories. The... <laughs> you know the one of those stories, Soupy, about the man who's standing in the middle of the road with a piece of rope in his hand. His friends say, "What's the matter?" And he says, "I'm confused. I don't know whether I found a rope or lost a mule." You know. <laughs> <my friend>. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and it isn't real hot summer yet. Mrs. Sites, we think you have a most interesting occupation, and thank you very much for sharing it with us. It's nice to see you. Second challenger, will you enter and sign in, please? Bill <laughs> Sorensen, right? right. Uh, Sorensen, where are you from? I'm from Jefferson, Iowa. Jefferson, Iowa. Nice to have you with us, Mr. Sorensen. May I present the panel? And to the good folks from Iowa and Jefferson, Iowa, nice to have you here with us. Come on over here, if you will, Bill. Join me, and we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. All right, panel. We can tell you that Mr. Sorensen is self-employed and deals in a product. And we will begin the general questioning with Arlene Francis. Mr. Sorensen, would the product be found indoors? Sometimes. Is it a product that one would keep out so that people could see it rather than hide it in a closet? Yes. Is it a product that is hard rather than soft? <laughs> now, I'm assuming here that by soft, you mean to use a term that Dorothy taught me, squishy? <laughs> no, I just mean the opposite of hard, and I don't care what Dorothy taught you. <laughs> I would think we would have to imbalance, so that we didn't mislead them, say that any surface with which they could reasonably expect to come in contact with respect to this product would be considered to be a hard surface. Would you not say so? Yes, yes. I think so. That's one down and nine to go. No, Mr. Charlie, Sales? I said is it hard rather than soft. Oh, you did. Well, then that's not one down and nine to go. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I mean, if you want to get me off, I no. ought to. <laughs> is, it, um, is it a product that is consumed? No. That just delayed things a moment. One down and nine to go, Mr. Sayers. You would look at it. You can look at this product. Oh, yes. Rather than eat this product. Is it uh, something that would decorate your living room? It would decorate your living room, but I don't think it wanted to. Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. It is not decorative, and yet Mr. Sorensen was most emphatic in saying that you would keep it out where people could see it rather than hiding it in a drawer. Mm -hmm. Do you still wish to stick with that answer, Mr. Sorensen? Yes. Don't give an inch. Uh, you've got some kind of a funny house. You want something to show that isn't very decorative. Um, would you be more like... Well, could this be found in any part of the house as long as you're going to show it? Uh, would you show it uh, just as much in the uh, dining room as the living room? Or in the kitchen as in the bedroom? No, I don't think so. You have a pet place for showing this... I would think, about. yes, that what, what we're suggesting here is that if it were out where it could be seen, it would be in an area not, um, that would be specific and could not be general. But, but <clears> John, <throat> he definitely said to, Ar that, to Arlene that it wouldn't be kept hidden away. So why does it suddenly get iffy? Well, there's no iffiness about well, this. We never it. suggested that you would want to put this on show. We just merely said that you would be able to see it. You wouldn't hide it in a drawer or a closet. Okay. See, that's three down and seven to go, Mr. Mr. Sorensen, Sir. this is not something for yes and no. I just want to check. Are you any relation of Ted Sorensen, who was at the White House? No, I'm not. I'm just curious. Unfortunately. Uh, Mr. Sorensen, has this product of yours ever been alive? No. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Is this product larger than Mr. Allen's bread box? Yes, it is. Is it an object that has any moving parts? Yes. Any? Yes, I think we have moving parts. Would those moving parts be uh, a means of getting it from one place to another? No. Nope. That's five down and five to go, Mr. Sales. 
I'm going to give you one more minute because you're not... We're uh, way off, huh? Yeah. You know. uh, is it a relaxing thing? Sometimes, yes. Mm -hmm. I would say some people would consider it relaxing. You know. uh, is it something that I might enjoy? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Kilgallen? Yes. Um, <laughs> could we have a conference? <laughs> <laughs> you may have 30 seconds for a conference. You any kind of transportation? No, I don't think so. No, but it may be a game kind of product. Or maybe... Maybe fun. You know, games or something. Is it a... Uh, let's put it... Is it a game? Some, I mean, could it be amusement. Just amusement? Could it be used for amusement or a game in your home? Yes. Oh. <coughs> well, oh. You... I pass. <laughs> this Gil Gallon. Don't do that. Uh, does it involve something that has legs on it? Actually, uh, just a moment. We'll be back in an hour. <laughs> I'm sorry, Soupy. I thought suddenly I had it. Mm. Yeah, it involves something that has legs on it. Is that something a table? Mm, of sorts? No. I was not thinking a table. of a pool. Mr. Sorensen, is this ever used by acrobats? Yes. Is it a trampoline? Yeah. Yes. yes. Mr. Sorensen is president of the American Athletic Equipment Company, which used to be known as the American Trampoline Company. And they make them. The thing that has surprised me is they make them in all sizes. I asked because I was afraid somebody might say, well, could I hold it in my hand? And no, Mr. Sorensen said you could lift one because there's some only four feet long, you know, that you can get a little exercise, I guess, in, within the home. Little kitty. <laughs> yeah, little kitties. Bennett, you know, people like that. Could do that. But... Um, they run the inter and the price span fascinated me too, sir. What is it? They run from about thirty-nine dollars up past seven hundred dollars for the college model. Up past seven, they, and a lot of your business is with colleges, yes. athletic programs, seven hundred dollars. Right. Well, we nearly stuck them. I think that uh, for a while we had them on the floor. Event. Sorry, we didn't put them on the floor altogether. And thanks very much for being our guest. Nice to see you. tonight's mystery guest in just a moment. And now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger, for which my friends on the panel are always blindfolded, as you know. Are the blindfolds in place, panel? Yes, sir. Yes. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? As you know, a different form of questioning this time. One question at a time, uh, moving clockwise. In turn, we'll begin with uh, Dorothy Kilgallen. Are you in show business? Uh, yes, madam. Mr. Sir. Well, some enthusiastic spectator was yelling bravo. Uh, have you anything to do with music? A little, sir, yes, yes. yes. What? I didn't hear that. A little, yes. Miss Francis? <coughs> A little yes. Does that mean you do something other than sing? Yeah. Mr. Sales? Um, is there more? Or oh, is there more than... That's a good question. Yeah. Um, are there two of you? Is that your question? Yes. Uh, we're plural, sir. Yes, we're plural. Right. Ms. Kilgallen? What was, what that? was the answer? Yeah, we're plural. We're plural, plural, plural. You're plural, there are two. but that was not Soupy's question. He said, are there two of you? We said yes. Oh. Uh, are you in any way connected with the ballet? <laughs> no, not at all, not at all. No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Is the male member of this duo English? Yeah. Miss Francis? That wasn't the male that answered, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Are you, do you appear in the theater? 
Occasionally, madam, yes, occasionally. Mr. Sales, are you currently on Broadway? No. Oh, are <laughs> you Gilchrist. missing Mrs. Tony Newley? <laughs> Right, Anthony Newley and Joan Collins, Mr. and Mrs. Anthony Newley. And I think the first thing we ought to do, if I read the newspapers correctly, is say congratulations. Thank you very much. New baby. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes. One. yes. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Oh, that's, <laughs> gee, that's, that's great. That's yeah. fine. Two new babies. Two new well, babies. One, one is the role of the grease paint. paint. One, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Actually, Thank we you. were once near neighbors up at... Uh, the Imperial Oh, yes, house, that's so that right. I, I remember, yes. yes. we knew, but... Uh, were you there the night that the drive fell in and all the cars... No, we were yeah. out in California when it fell in, I'm happy night. to say. But uh, I actually, uh, Miss Joan wanted to know, how did they get it? And I said, the thing that probably gave it away was when she answered the question, are you appearing on Broadway? And you said, I no. I thought because... that would throw them off. She's yeah, but, English you know. and she's not well, on Broadway. If it makes you happy, it threw me all right. Kind of the roar of the grease paint and the smell of the crowd, which everybody always gets wrong. They say it yes, yes. the other way first. You know, I'm sure yes, you're used yes. to that, too. Yes, all they've had phone calls about it. You know, yeah. But that uh, everybody knows that you're in it and knows that Miss Joan can't be because I you're... I will now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Although, I don't know. They're trying Joan's to get part is played by Sarah Richard. <laughs> Sarah Richard, yes. Yeah. 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 With the well, I must say that uh, we haven't had a chance to see that, but Mrs. Daly and I were in London and saw Stop the World. I wanted oh, yeah, to get yeah, off and yeah. loved it, and I knew that when you came over here with it, it was going to be a big success, and I'm sure that this will be a big success, too. You have a fine, fine feeling in the theater. Good. Yeah, you know, and uh, again, many congratulations on the new baby. And, uh, Thank you, sir. So good to have you back in the theater. <laughs> Well, I promised you a lot of trouble tonight, and we tried to give you a lot of trouble, but I'm afraid you puzzled me more than I've puzzled you so far, so I'll give you some congratulations, and we'll all be back after this word. And now let's meet another challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? Bonnie? Porter, right? We are going to do a speed test now. It's Mrs. Porter, and where are you from, Mrs. Porter? Baytown, Texas. Baytown, Texas. Now, will you join me over here, Mrs. Porter? I'm going to give you more information than usual and see that if you see if you can guess very quickly what it is Mrs. Porter does. We will tell you that she does something at the World's Fair here in New York is salaried and serviced. And we'll begin with in Soupy Sex. the former Miss Texas at the Texas Pavilion at the World's Fair? No. One down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, you do, however, meet the people, I assume. Meet I mean, them they see you. They I see mean, you. They That's see right. Her. They see me. Do you perform in any way? Yes. Do you perform uh, not always on dry land? Are you in water sometimes? Yes. Do you do some sort of an aquatic is that the word? Yeah. Exhibition? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, do you, uh, well, I don't have to tell what pavilion do I, uh, do you do a high diving exhibition? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. M Mrs. Porter, are you part of the uh, show at the Florida Pavilion? Yes. The uh, show that Dick Pope sends up here from the Cypress Gardens? No. No, but that's very close. Actually, it's the Florida Citrus um, Water Ski Show. and. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A champion water skier now appearing at the New York World's Fair. Very good. <laughs> and I'm sorry you didn't have more time, Mr. Sullivan. It was nice to have you with us. Thank you. That's one of the places where the admission is free, the Florida Citrus Water Ski Show, if you go to the World's <laughs> Fair. And panel I've used all up the time, and so I will say for all of us, Dorothy, good trip to England for the performance, and uh, good night to everybody, and thanks for being with us on What's My Line. <laughs>